In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the differences between Solid Edge and SolidWorks when it comes to the general workflow of how you create things in the software. Let's start with a new part document. Notice that our new part has come up in synchronous. If you work mainly in ordered mode, you'll want to change this, so it's easy to do by right-clicking and going to Transition to Ordered. But you may want it to come up every time by default in ordered mode. So here's how you do that. Go to the Application button, Settings, Options, Helpers, and make sure that this setting, Start Part and Sheet Metal Documents using this environment, Synchronous or Ordered. You can switch that to Ordered and say OK. Now if we start another new part, this one comes up in ordered mode. The next part of the workflow I'd like to talk about is creating features. This is the way that Solid Edge wants us to create features. Click on the Extrude button first. And then the command bar is trying to walk us through the steps to create an extrude. The first step is to create a sketch plane. We're just going to select that we want our sketch plane to be coincident with the front plane. There are other options in here, so you can make a sketch plane while you're creating the feature. You don't have to create the sketch plane before you create the feature. So let's just click on the sketch plane, and then Solid Edge kicks us into sketch mode, in which case we'll draw our sketch. We've talked about Solid Edge sketching in a previous video. There are two ways to get out of the sketch, the small green button or the large green button, either way. If we're following the Solid Edge workflow, then it's going to kick you into Extrude mode. And notice here that Solid Edge is asking us to do two different things at the same time. They want us to specify the distance and the direction. The direction you can change by moving the cursor back and forth, and the distance can be set by keying something in. Notice that the step value here is the increment by which it changes as I drag the cursor. So if I change the step to one inch, then the distance changes in one inch increments. This is very handy. It's not useful for when you use the middle mouse button to scroll the value, but it's useful for when you are dragging a value visually with the cursor. When you've got it where you want it, you can click the left mouse button and Solid Edge takes you through to the last step, which is naming the feature and finish. Even after you finish, notice that Solid Edge has started the feature workflow all over again. It wants you to select a sketch plane, but that's because Solid Edge assumes that you want to continue creating a new feature, similar to the one you just created. So to get out of this, you just press Cancel or Escape on the keyboard. You can do things completely out of the workflow. For example, you can start with a sketch command. Solid Edge is going to ask you for a plane, and again, you can create a plane while you're in the sketch command. Remember that whether you're creating a sketch in the extrude command or a plane in the sketch command, Solid Edge will group all of these items together, and if you delete the extrude, it will take everything with it, including the sketch and the plane. So you may want to select which workflow that you want to work with, and if you want your sketches and planes to be separate entities, or you want them all to be part of the overall feature. That's an important consideration. So as a part of this sketch, I'm going to select a sketch plane, draw a circle, I'll reference the midpoint of the edge, the midpoint of this edge, and then reference the center of the circle and click to drag. I can add a dimension here if I want to, but I'm just going to get out of the sketch and then finish. And again, Solid Edge wants me to continue with these features. So to get out of the circle workflow I'm in here, just have to hit cancel. Next, I want to use this sketch as an extrusion. And so I'll click on the extrude feature. Here in the sketch step, instead of creating a sketch plane, Solid Edge is now going to allow us to select from sketch and we can go over here and select the existing sketch. Right click to accept and now we're back to the familiar extent step. Click to accept, click on finish, click on cancel. 
So there are some basic differences between SolidEdge and SolidWorks workflow that you should probably be aware of. Thanks for watching.